Today's community showcase is Professor Helen Tran from the University of Toronto. To say that I am excited about this feature would be an enormous understatement. Professor Tran and I briefly overlapped at the university. I was finishing my doctorate and she was interviewing for the faculty position she now holds jointly with the Department of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering. As part of the interview process, all the candidates gave a seminar talk open to any members of the department who want to attend. Now, in my time in and out of academia, I've seen hundreds of lectures, invited talks, and conference proceedings. I am not exaggerating when I say that Professor Tran's interview seminar was the best academic talk I have ever seen in my life. And I have seen a lot of talks. What set Professor Tran's work apart for me was not just the stunning graphics that she used throughout the presentation, but also the very deliberate and careful design choices made. Using transparency and color to highlight a specific image in a panel, subtle transitions, excellent use of white space, clear borders, decisive titles, balanced text and images, all of which was incredibly well presented. When I started the community showcases, I knew that someday I wanted to feature Professor Tran, and the reason for that is simple. The quality of her work and her emphasis on the importance of design and scientific graphics are among the main reasons I started this channel. Let's start by taking a step back. Most of today's feature will be spent on Professor Tran's website, helen-t.com, which I've linked in the description. In addition to her extensive academic background, numerous awards, invited lectures and certificates, as well as selected services, Professor Tran has a pronounced love of design, art, and plants. The summary written here, good design has a powerful impact on our world, and how simple, functional, yet innovative designs are implemented is probably the best description I could give of Professor Tran's presentation style. Now, this is the longest I've gone in a feature without mentioning Blender, and that's because the work Professor Tran showcases is often photography or actual data, beautifully captured. Many of the images on this side panel, or throughout this website for instance. For the 3D images, Professor Tran's tool of choice has been Cinema 4D. And as I said in the last feature with Biocinematics, good design does not depend on software. In fact, if we jump over to the resources page and scroll down, you can see that Professor Tran is well aware of this herself, and is actively trying to push better design as a part of her teaching and research. We could easily spend the rest of the showcase on this page, or exploring the links provided. Graphic design resources, examples, presentation tips, writing tips, and on many of the other pages, such as the research front page, beautiful examples of all this work in action. Down to the tiny hexagons that follow your cursor when you navigate the website, this is scientific design and presentation at its finest, and I'm not even remotely sorry for being this enthusiastic. This level of care and attention to detail is accessible to scientists and engineers and ought to be encouraged. It helps communicate the work among colleagues and to a variety of audiences. The resources page on this website is a gold mine. If you aren't currently opening a tab to go check it out, then I sincerely hope it's the first thing you do after watching this video. Now, with all that said, though the focus of this showcase is on graphic design and its application science, I think it's more than worth mentioning the outreach page on this website. Right here, communicating science to a broad audience is a long time personal passion because sometimes and disproportionately for many individuals, representation and opportunity are in short supply, especially in the sciences and particularly in academia. For that reason, I want to conclude this showcase on the teaching page. Specifically, I want to come down to the scientific spotlights. When I run the showcases, I've taken asking the individual or individuals involved if there's anything they'd like me to highlight. When Professor Tran and I discussed this showcase, she pointed me to the scientific spotlights. Like much of the other work I've showcased here today, these reflect a well-considered application of design and graphic art for communicating science. Or, as Professor Tran herself phrased it, a visually effective way of using science art to convey an important message about shifting stereotypes of scientists and science identity. This feature has been a real privilege to work on and means a lot to me because of the influence that Professor Tran has had, perhaps unknowingly, on the mission of CG Figures. I am so thrilled to be presenting this work because the resources compiled here represent a lot of effort and consideration, and they're openly available. The focus on good design and communication is something I view as essential for creating and disseminating top quality science. If you're a scientist or designer, I cannot recommend checking out Professor Helen Tran's website strongly enough. You can also follow her on Twitter at, at Helen underscore chem. And with that, as always, thank you for coming out, go check out Professor Helen Tran's work, and I hope you have yourselves a great old day.